Well, for more of an insight into how the process of signing players works, we spoke to the Monaco sporting director, Paul Mitchell, who's previously worked for Tottenham and Southampton. He told us about signing Takumi Minamino from Liverpool this summer. People sometimes look at modern recruitment as very reactional and very emotional. Um, I think when I, when I came to Monaco and other clubs where I've worked previously as well, it has to be more premeditated than that. A player like, a player like Taki um, can seem sometimes like an obvious one because he comes from Liverpool and, and not a, a smaller unknown part of, of, of the world. Um, but everything is about balance. We're the second youngest team in French football, one of the youngest teams in Europe. And with Taki, we just wanted to bring a bit more of a mature element an element that was multifunctional, so we keep the depth of volume of the squad down, so we keep that engagement with our academy and then opportunities for our academy to have touch points with the first team and grow into first team players again. So there's a global strategy when we're signing players. And I know everyone likes to look in isolation. Uh, I know signings are a very, very exciting part of, of all of our jobs and all of our lives. But for me, um, I have to think long, medium and short short term and investments if they're made badly you know they can horn and stop progression uh, for a long long time after that but obviously keeping in mind that Monaco a club like Monaco has to perform at the top of French football. Well, Mitchell was the man responsible for Tottenham signing Hyung Min Son last season's Premier League golden boot winner but he's revealed some of the club weren't convinced by the forward initially. I took quite a lot of criticism in my first year at Tottenham uh, for some of the decisions and, and Sonny was, was kind of at the centre of that. And once again, it's a little bit of a learning for me um, that sometimes players need time. They're human beings, they need to settle. Sonny had a, a great track record at Hamburg and Leverkusen. I remember that there was kind of this narrative that started to grow internally and externally as well that he, he wasn't a good finisher. And I remember one of the staff members saying to me when I was watching a training session, uh, and I said, you're wrong because his history shows in two different clubs, and Leverkusen being a big club, he's, he's a very astute finisher off both sides. And, and what we've seen over the years since, after that first year of integration, and sometimes you're needing that patient because you know the quality of the individual, um, is everything we saw, the due diligence that we did as a scout and recruitment department, just coming to fruition. And, and then obviously the coach effect growing that potential to be consistent and then to be, I think, what is going to go down as, as, as a great player in Premier League history. Well, Tottenham have been busy in this window. Will they do any more business? A reminder that you can keep right up to date with all the latest news. Transfer Centre here on Sky Sports News, midday and four o'clock today and every single weekday. And you can also keep on top of all the latest transfer news by scanning that QR code on your screen right now. All you need to do is use your smartphone and the link will take you straight to the Transfer Centre blog on the Sky Sports app.